hello and welcome to another edition of Thursday Thoughts with the Rector. Today I want us to talk for a moment about discernment and about what it means to pause and listen to God and listen to one another. So in the sixth chapter of Luke, um, Jesus has been doing a lot of work. Uh, He has been casting out demons and calling disciples and teaching. And in the sixth chapter, in the twelfth verse, it says, Now during those days he went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And the next verse has him naming the apostles, calling out from those who had been following him the twelve who would be his closest, right? The ones who he would then send out um, after his resurrection and ascension. I have said for many months now that as we emerge from this COVID-19 existence that we have had, that we will be changed and we will be different. Um, And we didn't know how and didn't know in what ways. Um, But I think God has opened our eyes to some iniquities, um, inequalities in the world. Um, And I think God has opened our eyes to some ways to do church differently as well. In the coming weeks here at Christ Church, we will be engaging the services of the Vandersall Collective to help us take a look at um, all the ways people engage in life at Christ Church, the ways they volunteer, the ways, the ways they serve, um, the ways they are the ministers of the gospel here at Christ Church. Um, Vandersall is the same group that has guided us through our capital campaign. Um, Aaron Weber Johnson will be the lead um, consultant with the group, and uh, they're, they're looking forward to this. They're looking forward to working with us on this. Um, so I hope that it is a time of prayer and discernment for us as we seek to engage um, new leadership in various aspects of life at Christ Church. Um, and to help give other ways for people to engage and maybe in ways that we hadn't thought about yet. Um, These are the sorts of opportunities we have uh, to imagine the way God is calling us and to imagine all the ways um, that we can continue to be the hands and feet of Jesus in this world. So I hope you will spend some time in prayer about what this means for us and what this means for you. Um, And if you have any questions about this, uh, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Um, We'll have more information in the Messenger and on our website and on our Facebook page uh, in the coming weeks as the survey, the online survey comes together. Take care, God bless, and have a fabulous rest of your day.